How is everybody and welcome to Gaming and Still Life. Uh, this is Rich, uh, your host, and we finally got a game that I think is going to be important uh, for VR. Uh, this is the game that's going to propel uh, VR and games of this caliber. Now you're starting to see the second generation of developers. Uh, this is created by Servios, uh, the same makers as Raw Data. And uh, they have created uh, a game that is very akin, uh, at least in my opinion, to Mario Kart. And it has that same uh, learning curve I think it does and it even almost uses the same type of um, uh, if you're at the back of the race I noticed that I would have more of those red boosters that would fly me um, through the environment um, I do want to mention uh, I did uh, get your responses and I want to say special thanks to AJ Jones uh, Paul Haley's and uh, Gunther uh, vlog. Uh, I do have your entries. Uh, the question for today is easy. Um, when's my birthday? Yeah, put that in my uh, email. Uh, movement 1957. That's movement 1957 at gmail.com. And I will put you into the uh, another ballot entry if you'd like or if you don't have to. Um, every video that I have from here till the next weekend. Uh, I will be having uh, opportunities for you to put entries and the more entries you have you'll put them all in there shake them all up and see who wins uh, Sprint Vector because I believe that this game uh, is incredible. Um, the minimum requirements of this game are an i5 4590 with 8, big, eight gigabytes of RAM with a 970. That's the minimum requirements. Uh, the recommended requirements on this game are a i7 uh, 4770 uh, with 16 gigs and a 980 Ti. Uh, what I'm running it on my rig uh, currently right now is an i7 uh, Skylake processor, uh, not overclocked, uh, with a Asus uh, GTX uh, 970 Ti uh, with 70 gigs of RAM. Uh, on that front, I'm going you know, okay. Now the game starts out with a uh, very reminiscent to, to a cross between Space Channel 5 and Jet Set Radio. Uh, it starts with Mr. Entertainment and he has like a, a TV for a head and it's very colorful and it did a really good job. Um, it looks like a representation of Jet Set Radio inside an arena and you can just go in there and you have to grab uh, with the triggers uh, air to, m to get the momentum to go forward. Um, it includes running. Uh, there's a jumping aspect where you push the triggers and you can push down on the trigger and uh, have a, a lift. So if you're with the momentum and, and the combination of the lift, uh, you can jump over obstacles or jump over other projectiles that people put in front of you. Uh, there is even a climbing element where there's uh, like these conveyor belts that are green and you can grab them and you can pull momentum with them. You can also use them to go around corners. Uh, there's also a flying aspect that once you get up in the air, you can either hit the brakes and the, and the uh, jump button and it'll propel you like back down to the ground or you can almost push the triggers and it will make you fly and it's almost like turning a car in mid-air and that's how you turn. Uh, there's also a mechanic to where if you're going and there's like a curve that you can uh, push the grip button and the uh, thumb pad and you will grip through the turn like almost like a drift and the further away your arm is to your body, the wider the, the turn will be. Um, I did notice that I am playing it on the Samsung Odyssey right now. And I will say that it is incredible. It looks sharp. Uh, I didn't notice any screen door effect. Everything looked beautiful. The, the colors were vibrant. 
and it tracked very well. Uh, I was able to remain competitive in multiplayer. Uh, there was an occasion that I had gotten first place and it didn't um, track it. Like it didn't, like I had to go back and then, you know, come back in and it didn't, uh, it gave me second place. And the guy that beat me, he said, yeah, that's common right now in multiplayer. So, but those are like little things. Uh, those things like that can be ironed out. Uh, it will tire you out. Uh, there is a lot of different kinds of movement, but the way they, 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 they track the player's movement, it doesn't look all janky and stuff like that. It looks very well done. It's very polished. This is the type of gameplay. This is the type of excitement that needs VR needs right now. And the games like this, will propel VR forward. I think this is one of the must have apps right now. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, the multiplayer is, I think up to eight players can play at the same time. Uh, there is the different skins. There is private and uh, public uh, uh, rooms that you can do. And there's 12 tracks total. Uh, the tracks are very like varied and I do like the aspect of where there's multiple paths so much that you can be going down a path and not even see anybody until everybody converges towards the end, uh, which makes it really exciting uh, to play against other players and seeing them coming up on you. Now there is like these balls that you can pick up and some of them will give you like a boost um, some of them give you projectiles. Now I did notice, I didn't try to fire a projectile back, but when you do fire ones forward, you can hit or run into your own uh, projectiles. So you do have to be careful. Uh, but it was very exhilarating, it's very exciting, very colorful. The whole package, it just comes together and I'm glad to see we're seeing now the second generation of what these companies can do. Uh, I'm very excited to see maybe uh, the developers of Arizona Sunshine, uh, some of these other great games that came out with the first generation of games. And what is the future going to hold us? Like with games like Primordium, uh, they're showing that the, graphic, the graphics are, are starting to get up there and not even uh, requiring that high. So I think they're getting better. Uh, at, at streamlining uh, their games and seeing what's actually doable and what's fun in VR. No motion sickness at all. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the uh, movement and it's just an enjoyable experience. Uh, so remember, um, my birthday, put it down and if you want to make sure you say that you want to enter the Sprint Vector contest in the subject and I will put your name in the drawing Every video from here until the drawing as of the 18th, I will get all those names together, shake them up, and uh, give away the game. It's fantastic. Go get it. If not, we'll work something else. I'll get you something else. And you guys have a great night. Thank you very much.